um <laughs> okay so anyway this is the look that i was going for or whatever and i just wanted a puff like why shouldn't i be able to get a puff just because i got locks so this is it like it's real simple only thing i really did was literally gel all of my hair up into a ball and kept wrapping it around wrapping it around until it got kind of like really tight and i got the two puffs that i previously used um in a previous look that i wanted to create because i wanted to look like a power puff girl no seriously though i just like that look um as you know or you probably don't know but um i like trying a lot of different styles and stuff like that and okay scratch that i'm sorry that was so wet like i'm so new to this anyway okay okay as you know i love wigs that's my business business la 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 okay further okay for so that's my business um she loves she loves wigs that's my brand and i love wigs so um that's just me and i love puff balls and um <laughs> no further i love i just love to change i just love to change my look and i just like trying different stuff I feel like wigs kind of help me express myself. It's summertime, so it's really hot. So I really don't really wear a lot of wigs. So I pretty much wear my locks in the summer a lot. And in the winter time, I wear more wigs. But like, I love updos and stuff like that. Uh, if I just want to be cute, which I'm not, not saying that I'm not cute with my locks, because that's what everybody say. Like if I say, oh, when I want to be cute, I wear a wig. They're like, you're already cute. But thanks, but it's like when I want to feel more girly, you know, sometimes, you know, even though i feel like i'm girly but with the locks i feel like you know sometimes i'm not as girly i can't um lie or whatever but i just like to switch it up and i like to try things that i never seen other people try so i feel like i'm very unique with it and before i started my locks i love puff balls i love um the tooth bun. okay so a lot of people ask me how i get my hair to get like this and with locks okay so i don't know like how often other people get their hair retwisted but i don't really get my hair retwisted a lot i pretty much just i don't freeform but i probably like in a whole year it's probably like four times if even that i know last year it was like four times so i have a lot of new growth so in order to get your hair in the styles that i wear then you would really have to have a lot of new growth and you know with new growth it just makes your hair more easy to style um some people don't like uh with a lot of new growth but me personally i like it and my hair has grown tremendously um my hair i cut my hair in in june 2017 and uh the first year it, first had year it grew a lot and then this following year it has grown a lot and I just, I don't know. I like my technique. I don't like getting retwisted a lot. I don't wash it a lot. <laughs> I wash my hair. Um, I wash my hair. I don't want to sound disgusting, though. Because a lot of people feel like if you don't wash your hair, then your hair is nasty. But everybody's different. Um, everybody hair has different um you know oils and different textures but i probably wash my wash i wash it it doesn't stink just know that so i wash it where it doesn't stink but i don't just wash it just a lot majority of the time i'm just flipping it back and just going and um you know like when i like the t i like to take pictures i'm not a stylist i don't do hair i do not like i don't even know how to braid <laughs> and i just i do like to take a lot of pictures because i have a business and it helps me to promote myself and to advertise and i just feel like if anyone is going to be the face of my company i want to be the face of that or my brand i want to be the i want to be the face of my brand 
Um, I promote my lashes. I promote my promote my wigs. I promote the buns, everything. And like I just tell people, uh, no, I do not make wigs. No, I do not. I'm not a stylist. Um, it's just the fact that, you know, I can just do little simple styles or to me, simple. Everybody seems so amazed sometimes, but, you know, to me, it's simple stuff and, um, I just go with the flow. Like, I take a lot of pictures because I've been, I love taking pictures, like, since I was little. Before Instagram, before Facebook, I just love to take pictures, so... I really, I can take picture, to, to, I'll, I'll take pictures of like the sunset, um, I probably like in my old phone, I had like 9,000 pictures literally, um, of me and just over the like the last probably two, three years and, um, it's just something that I like to do, so with me having a business, it kind of like comes natural, so also being a, um, first time business owner, my first time being an entrepreneur like I, I i had a job i started working when i was 14 but and i started working when i was 14 14 and i pretty much been selling stuff here and there like different things all type of things i've been selling all type of things and um all my life but i i just branded myself legally last year in september and since then it's it's easier for me starting out to um, take all my pictures, promote myself. You know, eventually I will have more people doing that for me and I'm just trusting the process. So it's just, it comes natural. Like <laughs> it literally comes natural. Like sometimes I don't even be trying. Like I just, it just comes natural. Sometimes I just do stuff and like people like it. And that's pretty much how I started my business. Like, I used to wear, like, I love beauty supply store wigs. The reason I love beauty supply store wigs is because I'm, all, I'm just um, real big on saving. That doesn't mean I'm a good saver. but Like, I'm, that doesn't mean I'm a perfect saver. But when I have a goal, I like to set goals. So... Um, I try to save and um, reach those certain saving goal, savings goals. So I like affordable things. So that leads me to the beauty supply store because I don't want to spend 200 300 400 500 600 <laughs> on some hair or a wig when I have a goal to accomplish. So therefore, I'll go and get a... 20 30 40 50 60 dollar wig and get compliments and people asking me where i got this from like hey, i just spent 200 dollars. you know i just spent 40 dollars, but people it looks like um i'm wearing a 40 dollar wig but it looks like it's a 200 dollar wig so nobody can really tell the difference so of course that's what i that's my go-to so that's what got me into wigs, affordable wigs. So that's my brand. When I push out a wig, it's something affordable. Now, if someone requests for something a little more expensive, because you have your females that, you know, don't get me wrong, they they like what they like. So you have some females that they don't like nothing but human hair, and that's fine. Everybody has their own preference. So I will get um, things that, you know, they, they like. But far as just my everyday, it's pretty much, oh, I had a, a dread slip. My dread is sticking out, but it'll be okay. I'm, um, so, um, what was I about to say? So, um, oh, so yeah, like, you know, that's just what it is. And... I'll soon have these puff balls. Um, this video will probably be out. Probably don't. I don't know. So I'm kind of still new to this. But anyway, <laughs> um, the puff balls. I'll have some of those. I'll have some specials, some deals because my audience, the people that I cater to, I feel like not everyone. Because I don't want people to think, oh, just because I'm shopping with um, she loves wigs, 
uh, I'm broke or I'm saving or I can't afford um, $200 hair. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I can afford $200 hair. I can afford $300 hair. But that's not, you know, I'm not knocking the human hair cause, because that will be something that I would have like constantly all the time or whatever but i just don't have it right now but i just want to say you know i'm rooting i'm rooting for all of my my mothers all of my college college students i'm rooting for i'm rooting for the people of the struggle so you know if you know if you can afford the expensive hair you can afford it but you know i just want to um bring something to the people who you know pretty much like they don't care about the price of the hair like they have kids they paying for college they want that house they want that new car so hair is like it, it's 50 dollars well uh, oh it's 45 45 45 what, what sell at? 45 no tax wait wait not only that you're shopping you're shopping <laughs> okay stop for it like let me just stop even though i'm not gonna lie i was trying to talk a little proper but don't just i try to be professional okay okay oh you know not long not only that you're shopping with a beautiful beautiful thank you you're beautiful baby you're beautiful too you're shopping with a black owned beautiful smart caring compassionate not further um <laughs> you, you're shopping with someone who who's saving you money i'm just i'm saving you money and i'm saving me i'm, I'm saving i'm saving i'm saving us i'm saving us my like, local beauty supply stores because that's what i like like you know i like that's what i like but um when you go into a beauty supply store remember this anything that i have is guaranteed to be cheaper at least by at least five dollars is good but at least by 10 to 15 dollars if not 20 30 40 so rem remind you when you're shopping with me it's cheaper and I don't tax you. It's cheaper and I don't tax you. So I challenge you if you want to do business with me in the near future or you know, um, you know, just get some of these good vibes. Not further. But um if you want to do business in the near future, you want to do business with me in the near future, and you go into a store and you see something you like. If you just want to just test it out and I, I can just guarantee you that just get the name of the wig and um, send me a picture and I guarantee you that uh, you won't have to shop there anymore like it's just let's let's stop um, I'm not gonna say stop doing business with them but uh, I would rather do business with someone who was really like this is chick-fil-a this is McDonald's Sometimes you go in these local beauty supply stores or you go into these stores and they don't really value what they do. I'm saving you money. I'm not only saving people money, but I I have ev I have everything on demand. Like this is what I have. This is what they have. I have the same exact thing that they have because I'm literally like a a black owned beauty supply store my, my stuff is just really online and I'm mobile so that's another thing I'm mobile I do have people contacting me in different counties and different places so sometimes <laughs> scratch that <laughs> every day majority of every day I'm in a different city I'm in a different county I target small counties and that's just what I do sometimes big counties as well and so all the time I can't deliver 
But majority of the time, if you just go back and ask anybody that have done business with me, um, I'm very, very professional because I take my job very, very serious and okay. I love it. Well, I didn't plan on talking about my business, but um, since we got that out there and stuff, um, my head, my head is itching like really bad. So, um, yeah, but I really just wanted to <laughs> show y'all my puff. Like, that's what, like, seriously, before I started my dreads, I love puff balls. So, like, this is your girl. Okay, for real. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and comment. Nice things, people, because, um, yeah, a lot of weird people out in the world, and, yeah, he not through with me yet, so, if you like, if you like it, like it, if you don't, don't, if you want to comment, comment, if you want to sub subscribe for more, I like more, more is good, um, so if you want more from me, like comment subscribe seriously though if you want to see how i did this puff you need to subscribe to my mother channel because that's the only way i'm gonna